Okay, in this tutorial, we're going to continue on and work towards having um, hands in our um, XR origin or player rather than these uh, placeholder um, cube rectangle things we've been using up until now. Um, I'm using a package that was made available by Valum, who um, runs a cool VR tutorial channel. I happen to have it in my uh, Unity Projects folder, the Oculus Hands Unity package. Um, if we drag this into our uh, assets, it will import just like if we were pulling something from the package manager. So now we've got a um, Oculus Hands um, folder inside our assets. And um, if we twirl open our XR origin and go to the left hand controller, um, you'll notice that under all of the XR controller action based um, stuff, near the very bottom of that component is um, model. And we can put in a model prefab there. Um, so I'm going to go to prefabs and do uh, left hand. And then in the right, we're going to put the right hand. OK, um, so far so good. We have uh, hands in our project. But um, the problem is right now they are fuchsia. <laughs> or pink or purple, whatever whatever word you like there. Um, so we've got to make some adjustments here. Um, they do come with um, a material, um, but that material is uh, having a shader problem. Um, maybe it was made for um, another rendering pipeline or something like that. Um, but we're going to... Uh, use the standard shader um, and you can make these uh, either opaque and they'll sort of look like mannequin hands or um, you could potentially go with uh, with transparent um, I kind of like giving them this sort of ghostly uh, hologram look so I'm gonna go for that and then turn down the alpha. So I'm just going to figure out how um, how transparent is too transparent, you know, how green is too green. I'll pick my faves. Um, and the other thing that I want to do is uh, get rid of these cubes that were my stand-ins. Okay, that looks like hands. So if all you want is hands, um, that's all it takes. Uh, the problem is these hands, while they turn, if I press my buttons, they don't do anything. Um, and uh, it does sort of break immersion <laughs> if, um, if our hands won't animate when we go to grip or grab anything. So let me show you um, the next steps that it would take to make that happen. Under Oculus Hands, we saw where we could find the prefabs, but we're going to go to um, Animations, and uh, we're going to create a new animator. So we right-click, Create, and we're looking for Animator Controller. And we'll call this left hand animator. Then jump back to the prefabs folder for a second. Um, and we're going to choose the left hand model. Um, and we're going to grab that left hand animator and put it in the animator controller for the left hand prefab. Um, OK, so now we double click on the left hand animator. And the first step here is we're going to go to this plus sign and add a new float. This is a, a floating point variable number. Um, and we're going to call it grip. And then we're going to add a second one and call it trigger. So these are going to be the input variables for our two buttons, uh, the grip button and the trigger button. Then we head over here and right click in the empty space and we're going to go create slate from new blend tree. 
and then we double click on that new thing. So now that we're in it, we click blend tree and it says blend type. Um, we have two dimensions, uh, grip and trigger. So we want to change it to um, 2D and we're going to use freeform Cartesian because um, we want to use like an XY graph kind of a thing. Um, and the parameters are going to be grip and trigger. So now we go down here um, and in the motion uh, field, we're going to add um, four of these. The position X and Y is going to change each time. So we'll go 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1. Um, so this basically means no grip, no trigger, no grip, yes trigger, yes grip, no trigger, and both grip and trigger. Um, so now all we have to do is assign the appropriate animations. So when there's no grip and no trigger, that's going to be the default pose. So we go uh, to the left hand default and we're going to grab this um, take one. So at zero one, that means we have the trigger but no grip. Um, and we're going to use the pinch animation for that because we're not gripping the whole hand. We're just uh, using our pointer and thumb. So we'll grab the pinch animation into this one. Um, when we have the grip, we will use the fist animation. And then in the last one, you're kind of pinching and gripping at the same time, um, which to me uh, makes more sense as the fist. Um, so I'm going to use the fist in that uh, situation as well. <clears throat> if you drag your model into this preview area, um, and move around the red dot, you can confirm um, that it's doing what you want it to do um, and see the different animations from uh, pinch to grab. So now we would need to do all that over again for the right hand. So we can um, duplicate the left hand animator, call it right hand animator. And then when we go inside its blend tree, um, we just want to change these from the left-hand animations to the right-hand ones. So the default take one goes here, um, right-hand fist go there and there, and right-hand pinch goes there. Now, when we go out to the right hand model prefab, the um, right hand animator is its animator controller. Final thing we're going to need to make this function is on each of these prefabs, we're going to need um, a little script that uh, reads the input from our controllers and then performs um, those uh, conditions in the animator. So I've got a script that I've adapted from other folks that showed me how to do it. Um, and I'm going to bring that uh, script hand animation controller in and put it in my scripts in this project. All right, there we go. Um, I will open it up to show you what's going on here. Um, it has a uh, two, and you can see that code here. Um, it's basically just uh, reading values from the um, trigger and grip buttons and then running um, the appropriate uh, floating point integer back out um, to the animator. Uh, I can provide that code so you can drop it into your project. And so this hand animation controller is going to be a script that we put on each of these prefabs. And then we have to um, say exactly which input is which. So on the right hand, the grip will be called the XRI right hand interaction select value. And then the um, trigger will be the XRI right hand interaction activate value. And then on the left hand prefab, 
we do the same thing except it's XRI left hand and it's select value and then activate value. And with those things linked up, we should be able to animate our hands. <laughs> 